There we go. So this is Hatchet Gaming back again for another build video and today I'm doing two separate videos. The first one is going to be of my Predator's Mark build that is deciding to be not helpful. Okay, so Predator's Mark build using an assault rifle and SMG. Sidearms really not that important so we're going to kind of skip that and the build we're going to start with the predator's mark pieces and then i'll talk about why i'm using the two-piece striker so we'll start with the chest piece i am running a predator's mark vest that's rolled stamina with ammo capacity armor and this was a legacy one from before 1.4 that also has pulse duration on it which actually in this build comes in handy next we have a predator's mark mask that's stamina with skill power and increased kill xp oh, and I didn't talk about the mods on this one I have a stamina mod that's 189 stamina with armor and I have a 208 stamina with armor now we'll go on to the mask which it has skill power increased kill XP and it has 201 stamina with armor knee pads predators mark knee pads that uh, it has rolled armor it could be I would like it higher the stamina rolls pretty decent on it as bleed resist increased kill XP and burn resist which is very good because I can protect myself against other predator mark builds plus flame turns and f cleaners and it has a firearms mod with armor and first aid ally heal I would prefer it with first aid self heal, but right now the ally heal works very well. Gloves. Rolled, uh, rolled firearms with assault rifle and SMG damage, which is very important for this build so I can switch back and forth and not have any leeway or anything in between. Also, 5.5% crit chance, which I believe is the highest roll you can get on gloves. Now we'll start with Striker Backpack. Rolled armor, firearms, and it has a electronics mod in it, and it has ammo capacity. 201 electronics with crit chance, and the mods are ally heal and pulse duration. So I have a total of additional pulse duration. Holster has armor with self heal in the performance mod slot, and the reason I'm using the two piece striker is stability. It's plus 20% to stability for using the Lavoa C. I need to re roll Swift, but this is the gun that I use with my Predator Mark build. 18% are enemy armor damage, which is really nice with responsive and brutal and if I can get something nice in for the second talent that anything really that will help uh, predatory would be nice destructive would work talented would even work actually pretty well with this build and there's a whole other Deadly would probably be good. Because I couldn't roll Adept. 
and now we'll talk about how I modded it. I started with the Omega Rifle Suppressor that has 18% headshot damage. Headshot damage is very crucial in this build because you're trying to deal out as much damage as possible, as quick as possible. It has 4% crit damage and 4.5% optimal range. I would prefer the optimal range crit chance, but this is the best piece in, best piece in slot I have at the moment. For my grip, it has 12.5% stability, 2% accuracy, and 5% reload speed. Reload speed isn't all that necessary with an assault rifle, but just that extra little bit of boost is really nice since this empties the clip so quickly. 114.5% magazine size with 4% reload speed and 5.2% rate of fire. The rate of fire is really nice because it ups it almost to the 900 RPM, so I unload very quickly, and because of the two-piece striker, it's actually very stable. Scope, reflex sight with 6.5% crit chance, 4% crit damage, and 2.5% stability. Any type of st stability you can get on this weapon is very, very appreciated. And for my SMG, Right now, I am using a converted SMG9, and the suppressor is 7% crit chance, 4% optimal range, and 5.5% headshot damage. This one, I don't actually mind having the optimal range on, because it's an SMG, usually much closer range. Having that little bit of range pushed out is nice. 112.5% magazine size, 4.5% reload speed, and 5.9% rate of fire. The rate of fire makes this very, very powerful. And for scope, we went with a 11.5 stability with 5% headshot damage and 3% crit chance. So I get basically an extra 10% crit chance on this weapon. Which makes it very nice. And f oh. and for... Uh, which weapon are we on? We're still on the SMG. Okay. Here we go. So I have 13% crit chance on my Lavoa. 33% crit damage. And the 105% to headshot damage which is very good. I get a plus 35% stability. And it just... All of this stacks very well to getting me a very high burst damage DPS. And I have... a 1,000 plus an additional 8% of bonus damage because of Predator's Mark. Which gives me the DPS numbers that I want. So I have 262 for the Lavoa and 206 for the SMG, both of which are pretty powerful. I have very decent survivability in this build, running the with 355 toughness. I have 55% armor mitigation, which could be higher if I had the mods to do it. But at this particular point, I don't. So now, we're going to talk about abilities. When solo, either way, I run Overdose and Tactical Scanner Pulse. When solo, I'll run Recovery Link in this particular build. If I'm in a group, since I'm kind of more a hybrid DPS tanky player, I'll run Survivor Link. Because it will come in more handy than in a healer build or running tactical link. Because I'll be the one probably taking a lot of the damage. Talents need to be fully reset. I haven't set it for this uh, in a group. Combat medic is a must. In this particular build, I would run triage. Next, another good one. Where is that? 
precision is very very helpful in this build as well as on the move on the move helps makes you more tanky triage as we know Killing an ally with a skill reduces skill cooldowns, and any type of skill cooldown reduction in this build is very helpful for keeping yourself alive. But since I'm primarily... This is primarily set up for a solo build, so these two talents are going to stay pulse an enemy for 10 seconds with a headshot, and on the move, kill a hostile reduces incoming damage by 30% for 10 seconds. Any way you can increase survivability is nice. Especially now that this procs against players. So, for solo, I would use strike back and critical save. If you can get critical save and on the move to proc both at the same time, you get very tanky and actually can take a lot of damage for 10 seconds which might actually give you enough time to burst down any player trying to kill you at that give any given moment and that's the primary skill setup I use in this particular build and if there's any questions you can go ahead leave a comment below on why I chose something what I chose it for, or any other suggestions or comments people may have. I'm open to the discussion, and I will respond as soon as I get it. But, this is my solo hybrid group tanky Predator's Mark build. And as always, this has been Hatchet Gaming. I hope everyone enjoys the video. And if you do, go ahead and drop it a like. Leave a comment for whatever reason. If you liked it, if you didn't like it. Anything helps me grow. If you do like it, you can go ahead and share it. Get it out to other people so they can watch it and see why you liked it. And as always, I'll link my Twitter, and which you can go ahead and follow if you like my videos and keep up to date with everything that goes on with my channel, as well as my Twitch, which will be in the description box below. Which also, it's a great way to get a hold of me, because I try to stream as often as possible. And with 1.5 and Survival coming out, I will be streaming that from the test server. Just to get previews for people of that, and opinions, and how that works. So as of now, this is my Predator's Mark build. It may change. This is the second version I have done of it. And I will be posting this shortly. I hope everyone has a wonderful day.